right, let's go ahead and let's add our header up here so we have a place to put our logo. Okay, now I want to go ahead and bring in our uh, header. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new, new layer. We'll call this header. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the marquee tool. And I'm come in here and maybe come down about two boxes. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this with blue. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the eyedropper and just grab a blue in the center here. And I'm going to fill. I guess I already had it selected. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those marching ants. So we're going to go ahead and deselect. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a tool down here that we haven't used before. It's going to be under the sponge tool. Go down and grab the top, the dodge tool. And actually, I'm going to choose highlights. We have a few different choices here. So let's choose highlights. And I got a fairly large size brush. I'm actually going to bring that down. I'm going to use the left bracket. There we go. And I'm going to add an angle. Just kind of come up like that. There we go. So make sure you have highlight because it kind of gives a different look. This one will kind of look at midtones. It'll do something slightly different. And I want it to highlight. So that looks good. And I'm going to do one more actually. Let's just go back to highlight. And maybe make this just a hair bit. And this is only going to affect the layer itself. Okay, that looks good. Now the next step we're going to do is I actually want to bring my logo in because we're going to pull a color from that here. So let's go ahead and bring in our logo. And it should be right in here someplace. There it is. Now there's the logo right there. And I could have just brought it into this image, but I wanted to open it up separately. Now I'm going to show you something here because if you haven't used um, elements a lot, by default when you first open it, you really can't, it's kind of tough to drag things. Now here we showed you how we did it. We can just drag this, you know, uh, I can open this up. We can just drag this in here. But let me show you something else. I'm going to go to Edit, Preferences, and I want to go to General. And I want to click on Allow Floating Documents in Full Edit Mode. I actually prefer this. I turned it off just for this tutorial. And what that allows me to do is, if I wanted to, I can take this logo and take it out of the dock. Now what I can do is, I can drag this layer just right over here. And now I can get rid of that. I'm actually going to need that again, but I'll open it up. So I'm going to go edit this time around. Excuse me, image and free transform. You have to forgive me from time to time. I use a lot of the hotkeys. Oops. That's not the effect that I was going for. And I use the hotkeys a lot, so I don't always go up to the menu. So I want to hit the shift key to make sure I constrain this. And I want to make this smaller. And this is a hair bit smaller. And that's looking good. In fact, I'm going to actually put this logo over here for this tutorial. I want to kind of match up the EKG, the line kind of going through the center of it, kind of with the line there. Now, that's looking good. Now, let's call this logo. I want to create another layer. And this time, I'm going to bring this layer right below the, lo the logo. And I'm going to call this line. And the reason I brought the logo in first is, is I want to grab the yellow there and use it. So I'm going to come up here, grab the, the rectangular marquee tool, and draw a very thin thin line. Something like this. This doesn't be very thick. And now I'm going to fill it. Well, first of all, I need to actually collect this yellow. And now I'm going to fill this very thin marquee tool with yellow. So I'm going to select, deselect, and I'm just going to bring this down. And that looks good. And there we have it. We're done with this. Oh, let's do one more thing. Let's add a drop shadow. So, and we need to do that up here. And let's go something kind of soft and applies it. That's good. Now we can just save it, file, save as, and we're gonna to wanna to save this as a JPEG file. And I'm gonna call this the inside grid. And just do okay. That looks good. Now I'm going to go ahead and save it again, but this time I'm going to give it a title. 
put title in his name. So essentially what I'm going to use is, I've already done all the work with the background and stuff in the inside slide, so I'm just going to use the inside slide as my title slide. And we're going to make some adjustments here. So, and now you see why I've got this, you know, all these things lab labeled here. So what I want to do here is, I'm going to go ahead and grab the header and the line, and I'm going to hit, press down the shift key so I can select both of them. I'm going to bring it down to about here. And then I'm just going to choose the header and do a free transform. So image, transform, free, and bring that up to about here and make sure I'm in the center. Hit enter to apply that. And my line is off, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that too. Just use the arrow key. And I'm going to duplicate this line. And I can do this a few different ways. I can drag it down here to the layer icon. That'll duplicate it. I can uh, do a copy paste, which is probably the longest way to do it. I can do a control J or command J. And that just creates a copy of that layer. Or I can just come down here, press and hold down the Alt key. There you go. Duplicate it. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, now, the one problem we have with the logo, I'm going to just select the logo here and bring it here. If I try to enlarge this, so we go to Image, Transform, the image is going to get somewhat degraded because I'm trying to make it larger. And that's usually something you don't want to do. So we're going to actually close this. And I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, my logo again, which I closed prematurely. And I'm going to go ahead now and again just drag it over here. And I can get rid of this now. And I'm going to go ahead and transform that. So image, transform. And bring that in just about there. That looks good. Now we're going to do a few things here. Let's go ahead and add a drop shadow. And I'm going to do one other thing that I kind of like to do. And this is just kind of an extra bonus. I'm going to create another layer. Drag this down below it. We're going to call this Glow. So, and I should just name this Logo. And what I'm going to do with the Glow, with, I'm going to go ahead and select the Glow layer. I'm going to press and hold down the Control key or Command key on the Mac. And make sure you get, I'm going to just select the logo. And I've got to select it, get the marching ants. With the glow layer selected, I'm going to go ahead and change the foreground color to white. So go back to default colors, bring white to the foreground, and I'm going to fill that glow layer with white. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those marching ants. And now I'm going to add another filter, and it's going to be yet the Gaussian blur. And I want to just bring that up maybe just a little bit here. It just kind of stands out there. That looks good. And I'm going to change the blending mode. So if I go up here, it's just, by default, it's set to normal. So I'm going to go ahead and click normal. And now I'm going to use my arrow keys and kind of scroll down to different blending modes. The blending mode simply is taking the layer, in this case, the white, and blending it with the layer behind it. And you can get some really neat effects. But what I'm actually going to go down to is go, go to overlay. And this is very subtle, but you can actually see a slight glow there. And one last thing we're going to do before we save this, I'm going to add a drop shadow to my header. So I'm just going to go ahead and just double click on this. And now I've added a drop shadow and we're done. So let's go File, Save As. And let's save it as a JPEG file. And we'll make it a title slide. And say OK. Let's bring this in in PowerPoint. Now, the first thing I want to do is go to View, and I want to go to Slide Master. And I want to select the top slide here, the number one. And I'm going to right-click on this and go to Format Background. And I'm going to go ahead and use a picture for the background. So I'm going to go File. And, of course, there's plenty of fun-looking textures here. I have no idea why. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and click on File. And I'm going to go ahead and choose... Uh, the inside slide and do OK. And I'm going to go ahead and close. OK, that's looking pretty good. Now we're going to do a little housekeeping here. I'm going to actually select 
the title and the body and bring it down a little bit. I want the click to kind of be just just bring it down a little bit. And I'm gonna want to do is want to right click on this and bring that to the left justify it. And I'm gonna do a few things here with the color. I actually want to change it to Arial, my text. This is just my preferences. Click bold. And I want to change the color of the text to match the yellow that's inside the logo. In fact, in fact, I'm going to bring over the color picker that we showed you in uh, Photoshop Elements earlier. And here's those RGB colors. Now, you could just write this down, but I'm just bringing this over to demonstrate how I'm going to apply these colors to the text. So let me just put this out of the way here a second. Let's click on my text and let's say format text effects. Actually, we don't have to do that. We can just click on this and go up here to text, more colors, and go to custom. Now, if you see here, here's the red, green, blue, and here are the colors I'm gonna apply. So I'm gonna go over here and it's gonna be 214. Two one four and nine. My memory span is short. And do okay. So now I've just applied the color in here. So I'm kind of matching, which is kind of nice. It's really subtle, but I like it. And we'll go back to home here, add a drop shadow. And then here I'm gonna go ahead, same thing basically. I'm just gonna change the, the font to an Arial. And I wanna change this to white. And then I want to also make sure there's drop shadow there as well. And that's good. Now, one thing I didn't uh, kind of mention yet is I told you I put the logo over here for a reason. Uh, more than likely, my text is not going to be this long, my, my title. If it does, I'll go ahead and resize it on the individual slide. But if I would have put this over here, because of this particular logo and I want it to stand out in this presentation, if I would have put it here, it would have really conflicted with this and I would have had done something like this. You know, and I just didn't really want to do that. So that's why I put the logo to the right. I wanted to point that out. Let's go to the title slide. We're going to go ahead and make some adjustments. And this is off, but we're going to make some a lot more adjustments to this. I'm going to go ahead and right click. And we're going to apply uh, a different background. So I'm going to go to File. And I'm going to choose a different copy. I actually made an adjustment off screen. Uh, this The first one we made within Elements was just a little bit too thin. I just made an adjustment here. So this looks a little better. And I'm going to go ahead and close this. And now I'm going to go ahead and make some adjustments. So I'm going to bring this down here. Select it, right click it. Let's go ahead and center it. And I'm not really worried right at the moment that the text isn't quite lining up with the double lines because we can always clean that up later on. And let's grab this edit subtitle. And in fact, I can just bring this out just a little bit more to kind of match up with the title above it. And I'm going to bring this up here. And that's looking pretty good. And I'm just going to go ahead and make this white. And that looks good. So let's go up here to Slide Master, close, and see what it looks like. That's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and add our inside slide. So there's our title slide. And here's our inside slide. So very easily, we were able to, uh, just through a few steps in Photoshop, really customize the look of our presentation, give it a look that you really can't do uh, quite a bit in PowerPoint. Now, of course, you can do some of, the, some of these things, but not all of these things in PowerPoint. So anyway, I hope you really got a lot out of this tutorial. And really, you can play with it and really come up with some really unique uh, backgrounds that really are going to suit your needs. Well, until the next time, hope you always find unique ways to make your presentation more editable for your audience. Take care.